Hi, I'm Carl from OSP, and this is Communicate, Connect, Grow, the OSP podcast. On today's episode, we're talking about the editing code quote about our podcast. If you want to be a more effective writer, a more transparent editor, develop clear strategic thinking, or learn from our network of expert friends and colleagues, that's what we're here for. We divide our episodes across three themes, communicate, connect, and grow. This is a communicate episode, and we're talking about your writing with our editing code quote. The quote editing code falls into phase B, the flow and sections phrase of the process. It's about establishing trust with your reader by including evidence from a subject matter expert. In our documentation about this code, it says, quote your subject matter expert directly wherever possible. Always introduce the speaker of the quote with full name and their role if that's important. Use quotation marks. Quotes help add interest and credibility. My name is Felicity Brand and I am a communications consultant at Open Strategy Partners. The editing code quote we use to talk about quoting a subject matter expert directly in a piece of writing. That means we use quotation marks. So it's a real person speaking about a subject and we've quoted their voice adding trust to your written piece. The reader is going to see that you as the author, you're not claiming to be an expert. You may have made a statement and then you can then supply this quote from a real person who hopefully knows what they're talking about to support what you have said. So you're adding credibility and building trust with your reader. Hey, this is Jeffrey A. McGuire. I'm a partner at Open Strategy Partners and I created the seeds of what have become our writing and editing processes and the authentic communication framework. Quote is an interesting editorial code. In its origin, I used it to identify gaps. You made a claim. How do we back that claim up? It would be the best to get a subject matter expert to say it in their own words and and prove our point, whatever the point is, when we're creating some communication. One of the things that I think that we do well at OSP is writing expert level content without being experts at everything in the whole world. And we can do that by having some broad technology experience and so on, and some awareness of what our clients do, as well as being smart journalists, maybe. So knowing when we don't know something and asking someone who does, we can put in their actual words and be technically accurate, which is very important. If we're not technically accurate with the sort of clients that we work with, product companies, agencies, open source software, platforms and associations and so on, without technical accuracy, we're going to lose all of our technical audience and lose credibility forever. So this method is a way to be accurate and sensible and understand the priorities of our audience. Furthermore, from a presentation side, we like to prepare clear pages, clear PDFs, clear whatever the medium is, and having a nice block quote in the middle of, 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 of things can break it up and make it quite a pleasure to read. And if it's something important, then people's eyes are going to fall onto it naturally, and that can help them get what's important about what we're trying to say. I'm Christine Bueller. I'm a communications consultant at OSP, and um, that means I do a lot of uh, writing and editing for our clients. The quote editing code just means you are quoting uh, your subject matter expert directly whenever possible in your written piece. My name is Liz Robau, and I'm a communications consultant at OSP. So I help all of our clients draft all kinds of writing. So the quote code is really about incorporating evidence into your writing. So we all learned this maybe in middle school or high school that 
If you're going to make claims, you support your points with evidence. The quote quote is about using a specific kind of evidence, which is quotes from usually subject matter experts or people who have experience in a subject and something to say about it. Quick impressions about quote. It automatically adds a few things to your written piece. It adds word count for a start. So if you get someone who is already an expert talking about your subject matter, it's easier for you as a writer. You don't have to be the expert. You can get someone else to say the words for you. It is also hopefully going to add visual interest. So if you're lucky, if your page design offers that, you can format your quotes slightly differently to the the surrounding content. It adds visual interest. But even if you don't have that, the quotation marks can, for a reader, if they're scanning it, they know that there's something juicy in there, I would say. I have been interviewing technical people and turning that into written content for more than a decade. I discovered at some point that people who are thinking on their toes or are not native English speakers or for whatever reason, we don't speak perfectly. If you if you look at the difference between a movie script and a documentary, a documentary is people talking naturally and it's kind of a mess if you write it down and a movie script is sort of perfectly presented. So when an expert is saying something to you and you transcribe it word for word exactly, it might not be perfectly clear what it is they're saying. I, as an editor, now this may sound strange, but editing a direct quote to be clearer and be more precise can actually help that subject matter expert communicate more clearly. I always make sure that I get my changes approved and that they're happy with how we're representing what they said. But I feel a lot of times when I can help someone be clearer about the intention of what they were saying. I think that everybody has more out of it. And that's kind of counterintuitive when we say quote someone directly. As an editor, when using the quote code, it's generally a good idea just to make sure that the quote is maybe a little bit massaged. If there are lots of ums or if grammar is off or you know maybe the subject matter expert is not being super crisp in their response you can sort of move things around a little bit just to make sure it's concise i use it affirmatively a lot actually when people have incorporated a good quote from someone or when what someone says just really draws out the point that they were trying to make in the preceding paragraph. Sometimes I'll use it if I feel like we're just writing long blocks of text and one sentence that's particularly a bit snappy could be made into a quote by a subject matter expert, but that'll vary from piece to piece whether it's appropriate to quote someone or not. Another thing that I came across when I was new to Open Strategy Partners as a writer with quotes. We work with a lot of non-native English speakers and sometimes a written quote, perhaps they've said it verbally and that's been then transcribed. It may not be grammatically correct. I thought the written version of that spoken word was sacrosanct and you couldn't, couldn't edit that. However, I was made really comfortable knowing that it's okay to edit a quote to make it grammatically correct. In some cases, some of our non-native English speakers really welcome that because in a way we're making them look really articulate. Don't be afraid to edit your quote, but do, always do, get the speaker to review it. They need to authorise what you're saying they said. So that's an important thing to remember with quote. As a writer, something that I learned a long time ago was that when I moved to technology marketing, a lot of developers and technical people don't trust the marketers the marketers end up selling a lot of vaporware or or inaccuracies or what have you. I saw that it was because a lot of marketers were shy or unwilling to admit their ignorance or I don't know, but they didn't go to the technical people and ask them questions until they understood or until they got the point. 
when we're preparing to write our articles, if we speak with our subject matter experts and ask enough questions, then we get the information that we need to convey in our posts. And it's a really powerful tool. So quoting is actually part of asking good questions and listening and doing follow-up questions for me. And that's kind of part of the writing research process. As a writer, when I'm using the quote editing code, I'm generally combing through a piece and looking for bits that I can pull out. For one, just because, you know, we're often working with pretty uh, technical subject matter. When we're quoting the experts directly, it not only helps the reader understand what we're talking about, it also helps me understand what it is I'm writing about. Especially with case study pieces or blog posts that are sourcing others' comments, I like to use it fairly often just because they let you use a bit more of a human voice. Like sometimes there's a pretty straightforward blog or case study voice and you get to incorporate something that sounds a little bit more like a person, which can be really nice to break it up. With the quote code, you can keep in mind that the writers and editors, we have a relationship with the reader and the reader might be reading an article of ours for the first time, or they might be following us on whatever platform and under whatever name we're writing. They might be following us for a long time and we have to build up trust with them. If they're going to choose to use our product, if they're going to choose to learn something new, whatever it is that we're trying to inform or convince them about. Quoting a subject matter expert helps build trust with the reader. Well-known person X, who's an expert in technology Y, says, yes, indeed, this saves me three hours a day and lets me do something more interesting. That can be very powerful if someone is an expert, if someone is well-known, if someone has the right and reason to be making these kind of statements, much more than me as the channel of their expertise, right? When I'm writing, I am trying to channel the information from my clients or from us to the readers that, that, that we've agreed is strategically. Quote builds credibility. I think the quote editing code is important to readers because it just offers up some proof or some evidence. I think a lot of people get pretty turned off by communication that's to marketing e to much of a, a sales bent like people don't really like to feel like they're being sold something a quote from a subject matter expert it's a little more objective and um, it offers up proof that this isn't like we're not just hyping up whatever we're talking about readers like reading quotes because it reminds them that there's actual humans that have been involved in developing a certain argument or line of thought. They like to know who's giving them advice. So a quote will tell them like, oh, this person who knows a lot about this subject says this. So it, it lends some authority to whatever you're reading. I hope you leave this episode, and I quote, sharing more of what the subject matter expert has to say. How do you use quotes? Share your examples or questions with us via Twitter at open underscore strategy or email hello at openstrategypartners.com. This was one of the editorial codes we use at OSP. We'll be sharing more of them as we go. If you'd like to learn more in the meantime, come over to openstrategypartners.com. Have a look at our writer enablement workshops, case study offering, or get in touch to talk about your strategy or product communication needs. Thanks to everyone who contributed to this podcast. All the P's at OSP. Thanks to our clients who believe in us. Shout out to Patrick Gaumont for our high energy maple syrup flavored theme music and to Mike Snow for additional horn arrangements. Thank you for listening and subscribing. About our three themes on the podcast. You'll hear from different members of the OSP team hosting episodes over time. Communicate. All things communication. We share how we tackle writing, editing, word choices, formats, processes, and more.
connect. In-depth conversations with interesting, smart people about who they are, what they do, and how they approach their life and work as communicators, technologists, and leaders. Grow. We cover strategic approaches to understanding and expressing the value of what you do, including tools, templates, and practical applications. We also feel strongly about building a mindful, positive, human-first culture at work. That's bound to pop up from time to time, too. This podcast is us figuring out communication, connection, and growing together. Subscribe now on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or the podcast channel of your choice. Follow us, suggest guests and topics, ask us questions on social media. We are at open underscore strategy on Twitter. Until next time, thanks for listening to Communicate, Connect, Grow. The OSP Podcast.